Hi, I got put in jail today. I'm making this video to uh, explain to you the circumstances about my getting put in jail today. The purpose of which is not to get any sympathy out of you or to get any go get him tiger, but simply because I am very concerned that more and more and more of this type of thing is happening today in this country. So with that out of the way, I'd like to thank you here briefly for taking the time to watch this and I'd like to describe to you what happened leading up to me getting put in jail today. At 11.30 this morning I had a doctor's appointment to go enroll as a new patient at, as a doctor, at, at the doctor's office. Uh, my old doctor's office had closed or was sold for some reason and they moved to another city and I needed to have a, a new general practitioner here locally. So I show up at 11.30 and you know when it's, uh, it's time to enroll as a new patient. They put you through a fairly lengthy questionnaire asking you stuff about your medical history and a lot of very personal information. And then at the end of it, they uh, ask you to consent or accept a HIPAA privacy agreement. Now this uh, questionnaire is all being done on like a handheld touchscreen computerized tablet. And you answer the questions, hit next screen, and it goes to the next screen, and I eventually get to the HIPAA document. And just out of training and what I'm used to doing out of habit throughout my entire life, I just started to sign the signature line without reading it. And then I decided, wait, reset, erase the signature, and I slowly went through that. And this HIPAA privacy agreement, and I think it's H-I-P-P-A or H-I-P-A, I'm not sure what that stands for, I can't remember it from what I read out, you know, from within the, the body of the actual agreement. This HIPAA privacy agreement says that by agreeing to it or consenting to it, you are giving the doctor's office the ability to release any and all of your private medical records to whoever they want. And after reading through that very carefully, which most people probably don't read, I declined it. Now what's interesting is that there was the option to accept it, there was an option to decline it, you know, little like check boxes. And when I checked the box for decline and hit the next button on the touch screen, it gave me an error. It wouldn't let me proceed. Now, I took it up to the desk to say hey it won't let me go past this and the nurses there had never seen that before nobody had ever declined the HIPAA privacy agreement as far as they knew now the head nurse said oh that's just for your billing and you need to do it. I said miss excuse me I read it I know what it's for thank you I decline it so the nurse that I handed the touch screen to said she'd go ask the doctor about that and I went and sat back down in the waiting room chair. A couple minutes go by and I hear the doctor storming up the hall, stomping, stomping, stomping. He slings open the waiting room door and says, why are you here? And I said, well, I need to establish uh, myself as a new patient here at a local general practitioner because my other one uh, closed and you know opened up shop in a, you know, another city 20 or so miles away so and he said well, well what do you need from me I mean are you here to get a prescription or do you feel sick or any of that type of thing and I said well we're in the the lot of the waiting room should not we be talking about that in one of the private and he said well it's private here and I said well you know I, I'd really rather prefer to discuss my medical history and stuff privately with you you know, one-on-one -on -one in your office or one of the offices here. And he said, um, well, I'm about to um, go. Um, I need to go to my other office. I can see you at 1 o'clock at my other office. Why don't you come and see me then? And I said, well, excuse me, sir. I had an appointment set today at 1130. 
and I was here precisely on time. It's now almost noon, and I would expect to be seen now. And he said, well, I'm not going to see you because you won't sign the HIPAA agreement, which was really what he wanted to say the whole time. Everything else was just him gearing up to say that, I guess. And I said, well, um, you know, I'm just asking him questions because I don't know, and I'm using this exact tonality and way of talking that no threat or smart aleck attitude or anything like that. I ask him, well, I mean, don't you have to see me? I mean, you can't like refuse me service because I don't consent to this privacy agreement. And he said, you have to agree to that privacy agreement or I'm not going to see you. I said, well, there was no wording in this privacy agreement that said, if you don't agree to this, you can't be seen. He said, that's my policy personally. I said, well, can you put that in writing? And he said, sir, I'm not going to see you. And he slammed the door and stomped away. And he was, and he was raising his voice at me. So I look over at the, the nurse sitting behind the desk, and I said, what am I to do? And she said, I don't know, sir. So I said, I'm going to call the, the non-emergency police line, and hopefully they can come and dispute this. Or help me with the dispute. So I, I, you know, I've got my new iPhone. So I look up with 3G access, the uh, local non-emergency telephone number. I call them and I explain the situation. And the dispatcher said, the police don't enforce those types of laws. I said, I, I have a right to medical service. Um, can't you come help me with this? And solve this dispute. She said, we, the, we don't help with those types of laws. I said, so you're telling me that the police selectively enforce the laws that they want to? She said, um, okay, okay, we'll send somebody out after me just asking some very basic questions to get clear on that. So about uh, five minutes go by um, after I say I'm going to call the police. And the nurse tells the doctor, and he comes back out and says, well, if you're going to call the police, I'm going to call the police. Then I call the police and you know, they finally agree to send somebody out. 20 minutes go by, two police, female police officers enter, and uh, one goes straight to the nurse's desk, one starts talking to me, and I can tell she's looking at me a little funny. And she, start asks, she starts to ask me what's going on, and I explain that the doctor's refusing service because I don't consent to a privacy form, and she starts defending the doctor as if they have a right to refuse medical attention uh, based off of me not consenting to a, an opt-in privacy form. And then the other um, police officer who was talking to the nurses station starts raising her voice at me and shouting down at me as if I'm her three-year-old son in trouble about how I had an appointment yesterday. I missed that appointment yesterday, but that I didn't actually have an appointment today. And I, 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 I that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, and I said, excuse me, we're on equal footing here. Um, there's no re re reason to raise your voice. I'm simply asking questions about medical service. Well, she comes towards me and indicates uh, a physical threat. She said something to the effect of, I'm not putting my hands on you yet, but I'm fixing to. Something like that. And they motion me to leave the private uh, doctor's office, which is within this larger office building. So I step outside the door of the confines of this particular doctor's office into the second floor lobby of this larger police o uh, or um, um, office building in front of the elevators. And I continue to request from the police officers their assistance in getting uh, some sort of resolution to this, but they're defending the doctor. What I come to find out is, after I had called the police, the doctor called the police and told the police that I was trespassing. Now, they never, the, the doctor's office, the doctor, the nurses never asked me to leave. I just sat there waiting for the police to arrive to resolve the dispute. But once we get in the lobby, and I talked to them very briefly about upholding my rights and doing the right thing and refusal of service. The police officer places me under arrest for criminal trespass. And I immediately began to explain that I don't consent to being detained. I don't consent to being arrested. 